If you have a cheap eBay or Amazon battery, this is not for you. All right, so looking at the EMF far driver regen switch. Now this is gonna be a momentary button. It is not gonna really come in slow or out slow. It is just regen and not regen. I am using it as my brake like we see on my RSF with our EMF Telaria button option for plug and play to far driver. Otherwise we have this switch that you can just put separately and we'll plug in. Now, you are gonna to have to follow along with some settings that we'll get into, but I do wanna talk about the perimeters that your battery has to be capable of. Otherwise, this is gonna be harmful to your battery and could give you issues and be unsafe. So, listen up. One, your battery needs to be capable of 15 amp input. So, that means that on that little label somewhere, it should say your input amps that it's capable of and we need to see 15 amps so that's going to refer to like charging can we use a 15 amp charger um, if we can then yes this is going to be the same thing number two for this to work at all you're going to have to have a welded freewheel if you're looking at doing this to your razor so normally we have a freewheel which means when we let off of our gas the motor stops spinning and the wheel keeps spinning freely like on your bicycle when you hear the tick 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 and your pedals are staying still and your wheels are rolling and then when you pedal it engages this is a free wheel now this is where we're going to have to weld that free wheel and again nothing crazy this is a good example of what i've done we don't want to go too far outside the edges here otherwise you're not going to be able to get your sprocket on and off for replacement so Make sure you're noting that. And that brings us into number three. Doing this with a My1020 motor could ruin the longevity of your motor. Some of these motors are not meant to take more heat and more resistance. So when we're always having that motor spin, like we talked about when we let off of our throttle, it gives our motor a break. It stops spinning, the wheel's spinning, and the motor's not spinning with the chain. Now, if the motor is still spinning with the chain, like we see on traditional Telaria, Surons, E-Rise, and um, so on, we are going to, you know, see that the motor is always being spun. And um, it's not a bad thing, but it is for more of a higher power motor that's built for it. When we're looking at a My1020 motor, like these basic silver motors here, these are going to struggle more with a welded freewheel and using regen. So... I really don't recommend using it with my 1020 motor, and if you are, make sure you're monitoring your heat. So a more powerful motor like the KR5V or the FW11 and so on, um, you're gonna probably see better results, and I recommend being able to use these things. And I'm gonna touch base that this is not gonna charge your battery and give you any extended range whatsoever. This has nothing to do with charging. We are using it as a brake, regenerative brake. Yes, it is charging into the battery to slow the motor down and give us that brake feeling, but no, it is not charging your battery enough for you to think I'm gonna get a whole bunch of extra riding in out of this. So just want you guys to be aware of that as well. So if you've listened to all three of those things and you're ready to get into the tuning, we will jump into that. This is what you're gonna have to do to get these switches to actually work and be functional when you hit the button. All right, so we're out here now. We're gonna take a look at the actual regen switch. Um, obviously, it's a Teleria EMF um, plug. We'll plug in the same way that's wired for this with the adapter. We are looking for this one with a black wire and a yellow and green wire, more of a yellow wire with two green stripes down it. So um, that is, of course, gonna plug into there. And we're gonna go ahead and get that plugged in. So. We have that, we can see it is reading that we're pushing a button right there. So, um, pretty neat, we'll see. Now we need to actually activate that because there's not actually anything that's happening. All right, so in order to do that, we are gonna jump into our Far Driver app here. We're gonna hit the perimeters, we're gonna open Pro, and we are gonna look for a few things. Now, when we're talking about regen, we are gonna see, um, we are looking to get to the functions and get to follow. So we get down here to functions. Down below we're gonna hear, see follow is disenabled. Um, so I click through that. I don't know why mine does that, oops. And we will enable 
with EBS. All right, so we see these two options, EBS when brake valid and when release the throttle. And so obviously when we release the throttle, will basically be that regen will kick in right when you let off the throttle. Um, I'm not necessarily a fan of that unless I'm wanting it for some reason, practicing certain types of wheelie stunts or something. Um, but typically I want to be able to just roll when I let off the throttle. Um, so in this instance, we are using the switch for it um, from EMF. So we are using e -B e -A -B -S when brake valid. So you want to click that and you're going to have that set and you're going to save it. Now we're going to come up to this energy regenerate side here. Um, and we can see all these aren't set. So we're going to jump over to the other far driver. I'm going to show you the settings that I set on the other one that's already set when it comes to the percentages. Um, but this is where we talked about. We need to make sure our battery is capable of taking the amp current. So we have our stop back current. That's two amps and four amps. You're not really going to feel that kind of current for a regen. When you hit the button, it's going to feel like nothing happens. So most batteries are capable of like 15 amps if it's a nice battery. If it's a cheap Amazon or eBay battery, this is not for you. Again, this is probably um, not going to work. It's going to put too much back current in your battery and cause it harm and be dangerous. But anyway, you want to crank these up to like 12 and like 14 is pretty much maxing it. If you want to do like eight and 12 to be safe, if your cap is 15 amps, a lot of Emerge batteries, um, Econics, EMFs, um, hot packs, all those guys you're going to see are basically going to be, you know, that 15 amp input can, for, uh, for your regen. And that's basically the same as what you're capable of charging. It's the same thing. All right, we're in this other bike now real quick. We're going to jump over here. We're going to look at these settings here. On this one, I do have free throttle set to 10. So you're going to want to maybe set that free throttle to 10. Now, you can see here where I kind of have these RPMs where this basically means at those RPMs, I'm going to get 90% of these settings that I sent up here from my understanding, um, which, you know, makes it feel like it's cutting in heavy. I did taper it off at higher RPMs so that it didn't feel like I was going fast, hit the button, and it kind of kicked me forward. Um, I wanted it to kind of gradually slow me down until it picks back up higher into here. And then back when it slows down, I kind of taper back a little just so it doesn't slow me right down. Also, when I'm slowing down um, in lower speeds. So that's kind of what we did there with the energy regenerate. You can see I have that 12 and 14 kind of on the top of those numbers, too. Um, it does slow you down pretty well. We'll see here. I'll show you that screen. So when we push this button, we can see it activate here on this screen we have. Um, I don't think it's good for it using it on the load because the wheel goes backwards. It's so strong, but I'll just show you guys. There's revving it no button. And there's the button. So push the button and it slows it down. So I, it does work as a bit of a brake. It's not charging your bike. You're not going to get extra range by using this. Um, it is just a little bit of saving me brake pads, to be honest. That's what I'm using it for, and it's kind of a cool feature. Unfortunately, we are not able to use the thumb throttle like on a flip sky. It's momentary. Hopefully in time, far driver will kind of get with it. So we'll see. Hopefully that helps you guys out. All right, guys, I hope that helps out and answers some questions. Um, we like to use this. So hopefully in the future, Far Driver will get with it and give us a thumb throttle regen. There is no thumb throttle regen option for Far Driver at this time. So hopefully in the future, we'll see more and I can reshoot this video with a thumb throttle. But guys, take care, stay safe, and uh, Electric Motor Family out.